this is in a video then hi uh, I've just done 10k in Southampton and uh, this bridge this, that I'm on now currently that was the worst bit this hill here ridiculous um, but uh, yeah I did it I didn't stop so uh, that's what I wanted to do really that was the main aim so uh, yeah I'll talk about it when I'm um, I've got my energy as I said in the first clip there, today I raced, I raced ran, whatever, uh, a 10k race. I, I've been started doing running. Um, I haven't just haven't filmed it because running, I feel like it's boring to watch, but who knows, let's find out. Um, there is riding at the end of this video, so uh, stay tuned or skip forward, do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I ran, ran a 10k, first 10k I've ever run. Um, before that, I'd only run 6.5k uh, and yeah, I didn't think 10k was even possible, but today I ran 10k, didn't stop. Um, I think I did a one hour, four minutes. I know I did a one hour, four minutes time, um, and I was pretty happy with that. Here's a clip of me now dying right at the end. Um, because well I was actually I tried to sprint that bit as soon as you finish the race and literally just stopped dead my legs just felt like dead uh, it's not like BMX racing obviously BMX racing is a sprint sport so you just do a lap full out whatever whereas running is more of endurance as it you know 10 kilometers uh, it's 10,000 meters and that's what makes it sound better I guess as I, now I've done it it makes it sound better <laughs> before that was scaring me out of doing it uh, running is actually a bit, bit fun now to be fair um, I don't really know what else to say <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about it because it's just a running race uh, I've found it afterwards that this Southampton uh, route was actually only like it was pretty flat so it if you, if you never ran before, you'll get told the elevation gain. So like, if you think about you're running on like this, my hand here, and then you, if my hand was like this, you'd be like, oh, you've got to go uphill and then back down. And it's like, that's two meters up or two meters down, da da da. Uh, so it was only three meters over the whole run. So pretty much flat. It's pretty much flat, which is perfect because uh, that's that helped me do it. <laughs> so as I promised, I have got some footage. Uh, I've got just a couple clips from Cycler Park the other night. Um, after this, I did do the pro, but I've realized recently where I wear my GoPro on the front, I have a mount that attaches it to, to the screw that holds my peak on, on the Troy Lee. Uh, and recently anyway, it started, it just weighs it down. I noticed it at the indoor when I did a session there a few months ago. It's, when I'm coming down, the helmet's just weighing down. So I'm looking up, but I can see the GoPro. I, I've always seen the GoPro like that, because it's right here. <laughs> but uh, when I'm looking up, I, it's just moving down and down and down, because my helmet's moving down. Um, which doing the pro was very annoying to do that. Uh, I know I've had footage before when I'm doing the pro. I don't want to get f footage in the future of me doing the pro. But uh, currently, that's not a solution that I'm happy with, because um, I'm already trying to focus on the pro, and then I've got this GoPro getting more and more in my way. So uh, I didn't get any footage of the pro, that's what I'm trying to say. So uh, here's some footage. Second straight, first straight, um, the wind has been excellent recently at any track I've ridden because I don't know why, it's just not windy at the moment um, and there's no wind, literally no wind. So, uh, and hopefully next week I think we've got um, tailwind on second straight, so hopefully I'll get it again. Um, I only did the first two pro, but here you go, I didn't get any video of that, so uh, here's, a <laughs> here's the footage. Here we go. 